fine flavors of Florence, and the fourth annual auction. We'll give you a taste of both. Coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Fox 43 studio. We're focused on the Greater Florence Chamber of Commerce, Leadership Florence, and the fourth annual silent auction coming up on February 8th. And we're visiting with Sherry Nordine. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Greg. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. We're at, glad to be here. What a, at a huge event, and of course, the fourth annual, and it's been growing every year. That's right. That's right. This is our fourth annual auction. It's actually our third year at the Civic Center, and it is just tremendous. And the proceeds are used to benefit the Greater Florence Chamber of Commerce. That's right. This is our only fundraiser that we have, and the money that is obtained through this fundraiser, we recirculate into the chamber, and we're actually able to have other business programs and classes that are offered to the community throughout the year. Great. Share it. And, of course, Leadership Florence, we really want to get into that. But real quick about yourself. Are you originally from the area? I am. I am. I'm a Florence native, born right here, and I've lived here my life. I was educated here in the Florence Public School District, and I also graduated from Francis Marion. So Golly. I'm a local girl. You really have uh, stayed in the area. Now, did you ever think about possibly leaving the area, going to school somewhere else? I or? did. When I was younger, I could not wait to graduate from school because I'm getting out of here. But, you know, Florence has grown so much over just the last 10 years that when I decided to marry and have a family, it's a great place to be and we're yeah. growing all the time. So, What was it about Francis Marion that attracted you enough to, when you were thinking about it all during high school and junior high, to get away, to get out of town, either get away from my parents or whatever, what was it about FMU that said this is the place to stay? I am an only child and in my 30s now, I'm not ashamed to say it, I'm a daddy's girl Oh yeah. and home is right here, so I chose to stay close to home. So it was your dad. Mm -hmm. Wow, well that's great. <laughs> I hope my daughter will say the same thing in uh, 15 years or so. Yes. That's yes. exciting. And you've got family in the area still? Are your family still I living? do. My father is still here. He lives in Darlington, not too far from where I'm at. My mother's in North Carolina, but she travels quite a bit, and so mm -hmm. do we. So we're a very close family. Great. And other immediate family. You mentioned, uh, I think you said, and I married early, or you, mar you married after... Uh, I, I was lucky enough to meet someone from North Dakota. Oh, you're kidding. In Florence, yes. And um, our family is in North Dakota and North Carolina and New York. But I remained in Florence because we came here. I'm from Florence, and my father was a Marine recruiter, and that's right. how we got to know the area. And when he retired out of the Marine Corps when I was six, we came back to the area. So all of my family's distant, but Florence is home for me. Yeah, fascinating. You married a guy from North Dakota. Yes, I did. Have, have you been to North Dakota much? A couple of times. We have traveled, and we never fly. We always drive. It's a 26-hour trip there and 26 hours back. You are kidding. We've driven with all of the children, and it's been wonderful. You can learn a lot when you're on the road like that traveling, as long as you have the time set aside. Side. Yeah, that's right. Stop it a couple times along oh, yes. the way. Yeah. Oh, yes. How exciting. 26 hours to any destination <laughs> seems like a heck of a trip. Yes. And we actually, um, our last vehicle we purchased with the DVD system in place, thinking it would help us on these trips. But, you know, we watched maybe two movies the last trip there. Um, there's so much to see when you're traveling through the states. It's 11 states we actually travel through. So uh -huh. it's very educational. I think you said earlier before we started you have three boys. I do. Now, that do. must be a little wild, wild traveling, even though there's a lot to see. Do the boys get into it? It's wonderfully chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only way to describe it. Um, my children are 12, 7, and 2, so we have quite a range there, and, and yeah. they do enjoy it. Five years in between each one. That's right. That means 15 years at an elementary school for me. A decade and a half that I'll be there, but yes. Wow, Sherry, that's fascinating. You've been involved with the Greater Florence Chamber of Commerce for how long now? For a year now. Actually, when I began my position with FBI Construction, where I'm currently employed, I introduced myself to the chamber right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, FBI contacted me for a position, and they actually showed up on my caller ID as FBI, and I had never heard of them. So my immediate call after that was to the Chamber of Commerce to find out about this yeah, company. Yeah. And when they, they told me, yeah, when they told me they were Florence Builders, that put my mind at ease uh -huh. because Florence Builders has been around for quite some time. I didn't know at that time when I called the chamber what a close relationship I would have with them, but now I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So they called you? They tracked you down? Yes, they did. How yes. exciting. Wow. Yes. I, and I think I saw for a little while you've been at McLeod. McLeod. I, I is that was. how they come up, found out that you were... No, Florence, although it's growing, is not that big and, yeah. and word gets around. But yes, I was at McLeod for two years prior to that. 
Oh, how exciting. And FBI, you said it's, it's been around a good while. That's a Yes. Uh, um, the company actually began in 1982, so we've been building in the Carolinas for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. We're a general contractor specializing in commercial construction, and we build quite a bit throughout the PD area, and we also extend into North Carolina. Hmm. What are some of the areas in North Carolina that you all um, We're building right now, we're working on a fish hatchery, which is in Pender County, North Carolina. Really? It's coastal, just up from Wilmington. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're building now all the way down to Monk's Corner in South Carolina. We're working on a United Methodist Church in that area. I think I saw that you, or you mentioned that you all have opened a Myrtle Beach office. We do. We have a Myrtle Beach office as well, and we have a lot of jobs we're working on in the Horry County area right now. That's great. Of course, any expansion out of the PD, and that happens so often, you know, really growing well. It the, in the PD area and coming down this way, you've seen a heck of a lot of business. A set oh, of yes. officer attorneys in the PD area. I've seen in the Florence Area Business Journal, the PD Area Business Journal out of Columbia, that a number of those folks have begun advertising office in Absolutely. both locations. And that was behind the name change for us as well. Florence Builders has always been Florence Builders. However, we shortened the name to FBI, just the initials, some years ago before the events of 9 11, because we are expanding outside of the PD area as well. We're, we're growing. Very smart, very smart. Well, let's hear about the uh, about the awesome, awesome auction uh, spectacular. You said this is the fourth year, the it, first it three, is. The this is the third year at the Civic Center. Third year at the Civic Center. The first year that we did the silent auction, it was held at the Shrine Club in Florence, and it was a big success, bigger than we thought it would be. And we found that we needed a lot more room for this. So the second and third years we were at the Civic Center. This year will be our fourth year there or our third year at the Civic Center, our fourth auction. Okay, and of course you said the proceeds would benefit the Chamber. Who, who all gets together to put together to make this happen? It takes a lot of effort, and I'm a member of Leadership Florence 2005, mm -hmm. which is a business course that we're all taking. It's a nine-month-long process, and part of our project that we have to do is support the Chamber and raise money for community events, and we've chosen to sponsor the silent auction as one of our events. So everybody from membership, Leadership Florence in 2005 will be there supporting this. The representatives from the Chamber of Commerce will be there. A lot of effort goes into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you have any idea, Sherry, how it kicked off? What was the uh, what were the reasons behind originally uh, launching the auction? Of course, since this is your first year involved with the Chamber, there's a heck of a lot of stuff out there. And the reasons yes. for kicking off events are oftentimes myriad. But as to some of the, uh, when you talk about the funds are re, re, uh, redistributed throughout the Chamber, yes. what are some of the areas that those funds be heading? And I know you're not a Chamber employee, but yes. just uh, your common glance at that. Well, I believe that when it began, certainly we were looking for a way to raise money so right. that we could have more business opportunities available for those in our community. And there is not officially a taste of Florence uh -huh. that goes on in Florence. A lot of towns in our area have a taste of right. whatever the town is, and we didn't have that. So we combined the silent auction and made it a fine flavors of Florence. So we have the restaurants involved as well. And it came about because we did need a fundraiser. Um, some of the programs the Chamber has in place, something like Building Bridges, which is a six-week-long program program that addresses diversity in our community, whether it be racial, cultural. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it teaches you what is out there and how to embrace that with your company. Mm -hmm. Some other things are we have business after hours. We have mm -hmm. at least eight of those a year mm -hmm. where different businesses are hosting it monthly. And it's a networking opportunity for businesses in our community. So there are a lot of good programs out there. And to keep those going, we did have to have a fundraiser to support them. Of course, absolutely. Share with the viewers a little about Leadership Florence. What? Uh, uh, what, what that is exactly for folks who are not familiar with, let's say, Leadership Grand Strand or Leadership Georgetown or, or Leadership right. Florence. Just right. You said a nine-month nine month course. It is nine months long. We began this past September with the 2005 class, um, and it's for upcoming leaders of the Florence area. And it is a mesh of 30 different individuals from businesses throughout the community, everything from United Way. We have a representative uh -huh. from Carolina's hospital system, several banks, the Sheriff's Department. And it puts us in contact with each other, and you get to know them because we do meet once a month for a full day every month, and also through other programs like the silent auction. We have to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. um, you experience team building and other leadership qualities that you learn through this class. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. The one this year is hosted by um, Jerry Madison. She's in charge of Leadership Florence. Is this that year. right? Jerry, of course, Correct. who was, Jerry came uh, last week with Precious uh, Criswell 
to talk about a big event last Thursday That's out correct. at Francis Marion. Of course, Precious was with us last Wednesday, right, on the, the eve of that uh, celebration, the two essays and the... That's right, Martin Luther King celebration That's that exactly they had. That's right, at your alma mater. That's right. It sounds like the Chamber and Francis Marion work together hand-in-hand -hand pretty regularly. Does, does yes. the Chamber get pretty involved with, let's say, Florence or Arlington Tech? And oh, absolutely, absolutely. The Chamber is really amazing and it's an intricate business but they're able to put their fingers in businesses and bring them all together um, our last leadership class we started our day off at DHEC in Florence mm -hmm. and we ended our day at the racetrack in Darlington mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful culmination of the businesses coming together to show us what is offered out there and the chamber is really good at bringing the businesses together mm -hmm. no matter what their trade may be um, everyone has a common link and the chamber is really good at finding out what that link may be Absolutely. You talk about some locations that are not just in the city of Florence Correct. that are stretching out. You, you mentioned the raceway. I that's mean, right. You know, that's a little bit of a drive. Not far, but... That's right. But it's still part of the PD. And Very we'll nice. also be traveling to Columbia to the State House later this year with our group as well. So, yeah, our fingers extend outside of the PD region, too. Great. Yeah, I think our uh, Florence uh, area sales manager is uh, in Leadership Florence this year. I don't know if you've gotten to know Pete Sealer yet. I but, love uh, Pete. <laughs> Pete's been great, uh, a representative for us for years up there. Share with the viewers, uh, let, obviously getting back to the auction, and surely a big mm -hmm. focus. Uh, Leadership Florence has been uh, been around a heck of a long time, and this is you all spearheaded correct. project, but a lot of other people are involved That's in correct. making this auction happen. We sure want to hear about some of the restaurants that are involved, right. find out how folks can get tickets, and uh, Very good. if there are more auction items that are potentially needed. Okay, absolutely. We're always taking auction items. Okay. Um, we're in need of more and more, but we can't get enough. Mm. And also, if there are restaurants out there that have not participated with us and would like to, that opportunity is available as well. Um, if you need to donate items, or if you'd like to be a part of it as a restaurant. Our number at the chamber is 843-665-0515. You can contact anyone at the chamber and they can help you out with mm -hmm. that. Um, we do have a lot of restaurants lined up already. We've got Atlanta Bread Company. We have a Mexican Grill El Pariente, which is a new restaurant in Florence. El Pariente. Yes, and it's mm. very good. What does that stand for? International Food House will be out there. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of different restaurants that will be out there on hand to offer some of their tasty samplings. Mm -hmm. um, the cost for the auction is $10 per person. Tickets can be purchased at the door. However, we encourage you to purchase them in advance. Mm. Also, you can do that at the chamber by contacting them at the same number. The cost of this covers entertainment for the night, and entertainment, of course, is the auction itself. There are a lot of items up for grabs. At the end of the evening, we will have a live auction with some of our bigger ticket items, and the auction person will have theirs, Bill Yance, an auctioneer, mm -hmm. will be doing that for us. The fee that you pay getting in, the $10, also covers free complimentary beverages. We have um, beer and soda, um, wines. We also have the food from the restaurants is free with your, with your ticket to get in as well. Mm -hmm. So the three restaurants you mentioned plus a heck of a lot of other. Oh, a lot more are, are, right. are involved in All it. of them, some of their signature specialty dishes are coming in. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the Civic Center is such a perfect setup, but all the calls need to go to the Chamber of Commerce to Correct. get tickets, right? Correct. You said if it's uh, if it's not a sold-out event, and, and what is the number? I mean, do you have any idea what would potentially sell it out, but if it's not a sold-out event, can folks buy tickets there? We have it at the Civic Center because right. it is so large, and sure. they can accommodate a great number of people. Yeah. We had 400 people attend last year, right. and we could certainly handle that, plus quite a few more. The Civic Center has enough room for us. Yeah, what a great fundraiser mm -hmm. for the Chamber. Oh, it's a lot of fun. You know, and you figure $10 a ticket, you and your spouse or a partner or a group of friends can go out mm -hmm. and enjoy the food and drinks, have a lot of fun bidding on items. Mm -hmm. I'd love to talk about the items, yeah, too. Yeah, we know sure want to get that. we got about, about 10 that. minutes, and obviously <laughs> a real focus on laying some of those yes. out, as well as if you can let the cat out of the bag some of the live Yes, items. yes. Um, I've been collecting items myself for a couple of months here. As a member of Leadership Florence, that's one of our responsibilities. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. Um, you get out there with the businesses and you're able to ask them for things. And it's amazing the culmination of items we have. I have everything from coupons for, to veterinarian clinics for services, all the way up to um, fountains for lawns. We have a beautiful fountain that was donated. Oh, really? Yes, a lot of getaway packages for families, trips for four, um, a lot of 
uh, Adventure Park tickets. Right. Um, some of them right here in Myrtle Beach. Some of them, Carol Wins is one of them. Right. That's this there. A lot of golf packages. So there's stuff for the men and for the women. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of gift baskets are up for grabs. We also have a big package from the Red Wolves, which is the baseball team in Florence. We have a package of 20 tickets plus memorabilia. That's a pretty good size package yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. And for viewers who who thought they had items that could potentially be donated, they yes. can, is there a cutoff uh, for a publication of a program book where you lay yes. them all out? Do you want to have a cutoff? Is there a cutoff yes. date? Yes, by February 1st. Okay. That will give us a week to make sure they're included. Now, whenever you do donate an item to the chamber for this cause, of course, I can give you something or they can give you something to write off as a tax. The chamber is a non-for-profit. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. So we can give you that. And also your name will be in the program, be on our website and any commercials. So we'll, it's a good way to advertise your business as well sure. by donating an item. So items that are donated by February 1st can get in the book, but I think you said you'll be taking items literally to the end. Yes. Stuff that could be yes. thrown in. Yes, but to guarantee that we can advertise for right. you by right. the 1st. Great. Great. Okay. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sure there's more items. And of course, when you're out there, and if, if someone had an idea right now, if they wanted to call, if they called the chamber right now, yes. virtually anyone in the chamber would know who to direct those calls to. Absolutely. Everyone can help you at the okay. chamber. This is a family project. Yeah. We all have our fingers in it. Um, and, and don't feel like you, you may not have something to offer. We have services, massages, teeth whitening that have been donated from dentists in the area. It's just amazing some of the things that people come up with. So don't feel like you you don't have something to offer. One of our biggest items last year was dinner for six at the Florence County Detention Center. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's always a, a big ticket who item for that? us. Who bought that? Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of fun. And who serves it? I mean, how's that done? Do you remember? The, you, yeah. you have to come bid you on gotta, it to find out. Oh, yeah, that's right. You buy it and then find <laughs> that's out. That's right. And I know last year also, the live auction part of it, we auctioned away two year-long passes to the theater there. Theater and of the Republic. Yes, oh, yes. Um, Swamp Fox Theater in Florence, mm -hmm. a two year long pass. And you could see as many movies as you wanted all year long oh, as long yeah. as you had that pass. So that was a hot item. Wow, that would be. It would save my family a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If it was for a family, that would <laughs> be right. huge. Yeah. That's right. How exciting. Of course, that's right next door to the Civic Center, right? The correct. That's yes. A, a prime location. Colleen, when you think of it, for viewers, again, that simple aspect, if they had something to donate, uh, and I know you talked about services, if yes. they could donate anything. Yes. But uh, what are going to be their means of getting it? Will folks from the chamber help uh, get it to yes. the location? What are the, the cutoff dates there? Um, if they can get the item to the chamber, we'd appreciate that if it's okay. actual a, a physical item. Um, if it is a service and you don't have a certificate to, print us, to present us with, we'll be glad to print one okay. for your company. And then when people are bidding on the actual service, they'll have a certificate so that, mm -hmm. to show what they've purchased at right. the auction. With a signature. That's right. Okay. So it's some, at some way that they need to get to the chamber, if they can That's fax right. something over, yes. or the chamber can fax something to a viewer and, and they can send it back, sign. Correct. Okay. Well, that's great. You know, uh, when you think through all the aspects, and had had you attended any of the auctions in the past, Sherry? No, this, I have not. This is entirely <laughs> new to you. So this, fa I mean, you've got it new is. family members like yourself really making this happen. We're, we're very excited about it, yes. Anecdotally, as some folks have talked about some of those big items that have sold in the past, are there some big ticket items from the past that have gone, I know you talked about the detention I mean, some of those things I'm sure would be yes. hot. We do have like NASCAR tickets. Oh, yeah. Which those can be big ticket items. I know we have some for Talladega and also for the Charlotte Raceway. Great. So, yeah, there are items. You just never know. You think of the 30 people you have in Leadership Florence that are out there collecting and talking to businesses, and you have the people at the Chamber of Commerce. It's a nice variety. Yeah, come you, all, on out. you all should be able to come up with some good stuff. And of course, right. as you said, since it's a tax donation. That's right. I mean, or since it's tax deductible to, to both donate as well as you know, the $10 entry fee, I guess that, that would almost be. I mean, that's a, uh, that, that's a component, albeit much of that's going to food. That's and right. so that uh, there may be less of a deduction that's there, right. but the opportunity to buy auction items that may not be available on the, on the market. That's I mean, right. You, you could only get at this auction. That's right. And it's a lot of fun. This year our theme is a Western theme. However, it doesn't mean you have to wear your cowboy boots or hats. They're welcome. But Leadership Florence and the people that we work in the auction will be donning Western attire. But it is open to the public. Like I said, it's a $10 okay. fee to get in. Right. And it's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. When you think through those aspects of Leadership Florence and as you've begun, and that kicked off when, Sherry? 
This leadership class began in September. Okay, so just a few months in. That's right. And you all have done, you all are doing this monthly, or you oh, said yes. it's a nine-month yes. program. So. It's a nine-month program, and your obligation is a monthly full-day meeting. And then you also work together to come up with a project for the community. We are also doing a fundraiser to raise money so that we can have something to give back to the community. And our fundraiser is selling hockey tickets to the PD Pride game. Great. All leadership members have tickets to sell. They're $10 a piece. And it's for the February 18th PD Pride game. Okay. It's a home game against the Columbia Inferno. We're encouraging all past leadership members to buy a ticket. It's going to be a lot of fun, too, there. We're going to make sure to involve them in the evening as well. Mm -hmm. So all 30 members of leadership Florence That's are working right. together on that project. That's now, right. Do you all break up any subgroups to work on other projects? projects like an end of the end of the nine month program presentation or is everything done as that group you know, of 30? As we go along we have things that we work on as smaller groups and as a group as a whole. Mm -hmm. Now of course we have individual groups where we're addressing things throughout the nine months right. but this project of selling tickets is all 30 of us and then together all 30 of us will come up with a way to contribute back to the community with the money we've raised. I think Leadership Florence in the past they've even done things such as build buildings for mm -hmm. Choices School in Florence, some alternative schools and, and done things like that for the community. Community. Right, right, Sherry. Golly. Now, for you with this one, I think you said you've been at FBI now a year. Yes. So you've been, uh, particularly with y'all open in the Myrtle Beach office and building facilities there in Pender County. I'm sure the company's right. spread out. Or, are right. you having to do a lot of traveling now, or are you able to stay pretty close to home? They let me go when I ask. They're usually <laughs> not too hard on me. But, no, it, it's a lot of fun. There's so much opportunity available to us right now yeah. um, with us expanding our horizons at work. So, no, they're, they're very comfortable with me being out here, and, right. and yes, they're flexible with me. Now, when you when you join a company like that that does does a lot of building of commercial properties or otherwise, do, are you encouraged to, to visit some of those properties to get to know some of those oh, locations, yes. or had you already known many of those locations before joining the company? You know, each project that we take on is a new friend, right. and you really get to know them quite a bit through building, mm -hmm. and that's how we see it. We don't look at the buildings that we have as a whole. We've got this many buildings. Each project is an individual, mm -hmm. and we see it that way. Yeah, we get to know them pretty well. I think I've seen FBI's done a number of church uh, yes. church facilities. I've seen in we some have. print ads, some sizable, in that business journal or in other publications, Correct. some sizable churches, whether uh, in the PD or even down here. That's right. That's right. We've done plenty in this area as well of Myrtle Beach. Um, I know that we've done a lot of projects in Georgetown, Georgetown Presbyterian Church. We've done the Horry County Animal Shelters. And we've done quite a few churches in the Florence area, too. St. Luke Lutheran was one of the more recent ones. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we were all over the place. Now, Sherry, did your degree at, at Francis Marion been fo has set the stage for you to take this position at FBI? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, my education at Francis Marion is just invaluable. If nothing else, it taught me how to address the issues that come up and how to make myself more adaptable to those situations that I'm faced with. Yes. Mm, that was a business degree at Francis It's a business Mary. degree yeah. with focus in marketing. Okay, yes. great, which surely yes. sets the stage even even for that uh, that time here, uh, getting into the Leadership Florence class, which has, uh, I mean, there's quite a few requirements to get in there. Absolutely. And it's a continuing education. That's mm -hmm. how I view it. Um, to get into Leadership Florence, you do have to go through an application process and an interview. So, it, it, yeah, it's a continuing education for me. Right. When you think back now on your, virtually your entire life in the PD, Sherry, and you think back about so many things that's happened over that time, finishing at Francis Marion in the that's early right. 90s and now being with a company that's expanding into the Carolinas and probably well beyond that area, what do you think has been the most exciting thing over this last year? Oh, just to be a part of the community that I grew up in. You know, as a little girl, I was able to see a lot of changes coming about in Florence. I was born in the old McLeod Hospital, which is no longer there. Um, to see all of the changes that are taking place and to now feel like I'm at a position in my life where I can be a part of the change is just wonderful. I'm without words when it comes to the community in which I live. That must be exhilarating. Thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you again for having me. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Sherry Nordine coming up next. been sitting here the last 30 minutes you'd know what it's all about but if you just turn tuning in you call 
0515. Whether you heard Sherry talking about leadership Florence, growing up in the PD, staying here, the reasons why she's here, the recognition is that you can do something to help the greater Florence Chamber of Commerce grow and what's their goal? To grow area business, to continue to grow the area. It's a simple phone number, 843-665-0515. This is February 8th. It's getting close, but you can still donate an auction. It's a high profile event. You, told, you heard her talking about 400 people here last year. For the third annual, this is only gonna get better. And of course, they've wrapping in, they're wrapping in the fine flavors of Florence, incredible area restaurants donating a heck of a lot of food to the Chamber of Commerce and to so many others. It's only $10. You can still donate an auction item. You can surely buy a ticket. Call 843-665-0515.